Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room and the long-awaited Loopy Pro from a tasty pixel Michael Tyson uh, of Audiobus fame. Uh, this thing is, it's remarkable, uh, incredible, uh, beyond powerful. So it can be as complex or as simple as you like. So this is going to be a basic getting started and setting up for the first time uh, how you how to basically make it do what you want it to do and function in a way that is uh, good for your workflow uh, otherwise uh, it's going to all be very confusing so what we're going to do first is just do this and go with new project and i'll discard the changes and you'll see it will default to this okay so you have these five well you actually have 10 loops Colors are extremely important in Loopy Pro, but we'll just get to that. Okay, so let's open this little icon here first, which is the mixer icon. And this is where you can set up your routings, your audio routings, your AUV3s, everything. Loopy uh, Pro will also work as a DAW as well as a looper and a sampler and pretty much anything else you want it to be. So it's, it's, it's mind-bogglingly powerful, it really is. Um, but we need to be simple and we need to be straightforward. So there is uh, there is this. This is what we get when we first open it. This is the default. And because I have my audio fuse plugged in, you'll see that it's taking input from channel one. Okay, and I'm talking through this. And you'll see these little colors underneath. This means that the output for my audio is going to all the different colors. So any of these I pick will record audio just like that. Audio will record audio will record audio will record audio will re So you can pick any color, but you can specify the colors that this will record to. You can have them all or none. If I have them on none like this, you'll see that the little colors have disappeared, but you can still hear the audio. That's no problem. Okay, so we're going to get beyond ourselves if we're not careful so just for now i'm going to put this back into sorry i'm going to put this back into um where's my colors here um just below this and i'm going to select all so now the output audio is going to be routed to any color i choose okay this is really handy later if you've got keyboards guitars stuff like that and you only want them to record to a particular color so here we go here's the thing let's 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 basically just close this so we can close this down also as well when you first open mix it may look like this and you can't see your extra inputs for your effects and things don't worry just tap this little button and it opens up your effects uh, sends pre-fader post fader and your send effects as well and your destinations and all the rest of it by default if you tap on this here you'll see that this is the kind of like where you set your tempo and it has a detection range for the tempo between 50 and 210 bpm you'll see that there are no bars selected and there is no tempo up here okay so what that means is as soon as i hit this right it will start to record and it will record for as long as you record into it okay so let, let, let's just do this shall we now here's another thing as well by default loopy records upon release that means that if i hold it it's not going to start recording until i release my finger like that and now loopy will just record until i've finished recording i could talk all day and it'll just go on and on recording for as much as i like until i press stop my finger like that and now loopy will just record until i've finished recording i could talk all day and it'll just go on and on recording for as much as i like until i press stop and it's detected that bpm at 113.52 and if we open up this here you will see that it gives us three options for the tempo it's detected so we can sample each option that it might have been at okay and then we can apply either of those right or we can trim them manually let's cancel this for a moment and then we'll cancel that and then we sweep up and we can see some extra information okay it's five bars um you can see the beats here you can multiply you can extend it you can divide it you can control the volume the balance the pitch the speed you can change the color like i said color is very 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 important in loopy pro Color is defines a lot of things. So 
it makes life easier to work with visually as well so that's great so you can audition it my finger like that okay so maybe that's not the most ideal way you want to record okay maybe you want it to be specified okay we'll swipe this in clear let's open up this again now and this time let's choose two bars here and let's choose a tempo okay so let's go whoa, okay 120 bpm so now it's 120 bpm two bars i'm going to switch this on which is the metronome i'm going to open the metronome settings and i've got it set on metronome number two which is like a hi-hat and now what will happen is this it's going to start it's going to start counting and you can see around the counter here this will be the counting for the loop Dum 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 There you go dum 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 So that's how you set up a, a loop length and a tempo without a tempo Loopy doesn't know what you want Okay, so it will just record and it will use this first thing that you record as the master loop it, it will sort out the tempo for you for for itself like, you, know, you just need to play around with that but Here's the other thing as well. You might say to yourself, you might say to yourself, let's go into this menu now here. And the first thing at the top here is clip settings. This is an important place. This is how I've got this set up. I have play stop quantization set to the master, which is being played and stop. Play and stop will be in sync with the master clock. Okay, that's how I like to use it, but you can choose it to be anything you want okay once shot quantization oh thank you very much thank you very much pink very very kind of you uh and so one quick so i leave that on non hold to play one shot i leave that switched off i'll get to that in later okay here's recording now uh auto counting i have on so automatically, uh, sorry, auto count out. So it automatically stops the recording after the count out sort of thing. So once it's finished, it, it'll stop recording so like we just done. Count out quantization I have set to master. So it will stop recording in sync with the master clock. Again, that's how I like to have it set. Here's, here's, where, here's, <laughs> right, here's, here's a really nice thing. This is a one shot recording threshold. So if I'm recording audio into a one shot pad, which I'll get to in, in a minute, this is where I'd set the threshold for that. And it will not record until I reach that threshold. You'll see loop audio threshold recording isn't highlighted. So if I switch that on, we're going to be using this same threshold setting here for looped audio. Now, this is going to be very handy for you guys who play guitar and want to be um you know having some sort of counting well this gives you as much time as you want you don't need to worry about anything else i'll show you how that works now okay so after recording i have it to set to play but you can have it stop after recording or go into overdub mode so when you go into overdub mode it, it will just continue to record and overdub on that same loop okay well, you don't need to worry about that that's that's entirely up to you Okay, so, and then we have what our audio channels, and you can see I'm outputting it to the main one and two from the audio bus, but I could go three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and send any or all of the colors to different channels as well. Okay, so there's that. So at the moment, we're gonna go loop audio threshold recording, and this is gonna be super super useful for people like Colin who play their guitar. And you know, you might say to yourself, well, I wanna set myself a one bar count and a two bar count for you, don't need to worry about it. Switch loop audio threshold recording on. Set your threshold at something that's it's, that's going to work for you. And I'm going to show you that now. So if we go close now, what we're going to do is if I tap this, you'll see. Well, actually, you won't see. But if I tap that now, you'll see that it's got threshold on it. And it's waiting for audio input from me. Now, if I switch this on, I've got my counting as well. So now it's waiting to audio to hit the threshold, right? So watch this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Again, we're going to look at this and we'll see it's got two bars. We could have 32 bars, but it doesn't end there because then we could go, well, I want more than 32 bars. Well, why don't I just times that? I've got, uh, let's see, 32 times, uh, th sorry, 32. God, I'll do this wrong now. So 32 and 64 and 128 bars now, or 256 bars now, 512 bars. So you can have up to 512 bars. I'm gonna just divide that all the way back down to four bars. So now I've set it on four bars. Now you also have a metronome. Um, yeah, it's, audio threshold is brilliant. It alleviates the need to have accounting because you're just watching, dunk, 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 dunk. Right, anyway. So you also have a flash for the metronome. So if you didn't want the if you didn't want the audio metronome, you could have the. And now it's again it's waiting for me to start recording. Okay, so that's a bit a little bit annoying, you know what I mean? So I'm not going to do that. But if you wanted it like this, so the thing to remember is if you want accounting and you want a timing and you want to be exact you need to set that up here you need to give it a tempo and you need to give it an amount of bars initially loopy doesn't know what you want so it will just kind of it'll just record all right okay so that's how you record audio in let's go into our thing here let's add another audio channel and i'll show you it with the volca now you can't hear the volca which is just here as you can see so it's going into channels three and four on your audio view. So I'm going to tap this little plus here, and this is where you add all this kind of stuff in, right? Tap this. Add hardware input, and it'll go with, 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 with the audio views. It's telling me, and I'm going to add three and four here. And there's the hardware input for the uh, for the uh, micro freak. And here's the level for the micro freak audio input. And it, you'll see that the colors underneath as well, which will mean that whichever one I press, it's going to... You can also set it to record multiples as well if you want to. Okay, so... Now, you'll hear that there's a reverb on the micro freak. This is the uh, JFI Specular Tempus, which is just giving us some reverb. I'll be doing a review on that as well soon. So now we've got our audio input from my mic and also this. Now, I don't want my microphone to record into, into this anymore, so I'm just going to go to none. And now there's no way I can make the error of having that microphone record into any of these slots. Okay, so, you know, we're good to go. But we do have our... We do have our micro freak, which we can record some stuff into in a moment. All right. So that will work exactly the same way. Basically, you set you set off a a star point. Pick pick any pad you like. Say for let's pick this this pink one at the end here, and you'll see I'm counting round here. So and it's waiting for an audio threshold. So let's just stop that a sec. It, it's waiting clip settings i'm going to go down to um and i'm going to switch off loop audio threshold recording okay we know that we're on four bars 120 so i'm just going to stop that start again actually clear that why am i I need to work out why I'm... So have a look at the clip settings for this particular one. Ah, right, I'm gonna set my bar length here to... I'm gonna set it to four bars. 
sorry I know you can't see that but I'm setting it to four bars for this one and it'll say four bars on it so I don't know why I'm not getting my counting now that's weird um, something I'm doing wrong here Ah, here counting quantization needs to be set to master so that's another thing you need to notice okay so set your counting quantization so it's the same as the count out quantization and what will happen now is when we give our metronome go in and we go you'll see it's going to give us a counting basically and then we can record some stuff in so and now we're done we can switch our metronome off anytime we get high russ high fam okay so there's that we've got there in there we've recorded at 120 bpm but let's put some drums in now but let's do a file import for the for some drums this time so this is the way you file import we can do this several ways we can open up this here like this and go with media we can do split screen as well okay so it's not like we uh, thanks while yes it was my birthday yesterday guys i was 58 years old dear lordy <laughs> anyway so let's go with media okay and we'll go to document picker and i'm gonna go to say for instance let's go to some let's go with the uh i don't know patreon some patreon loop pack stuff patreon loop packs and let's see a mine uh the the weird workshop dear me the weird workshop okay so but i'm going to stick with some cowbell loops which is just a just drum loops i'm just going to tap this like this and there it is that's no good so we'll go again you can do drag and drop by the way so it's, it's cool so I'm going to pick another one document picker you see loopy lets you audition okay that'll do i'm gonna sorry this one i'll use this one and i'm just going to go import and it's going to start flashing it's going to it's basically asking me where i want to put it so i'm going to put it here okay and then it'll go right okay now you can make some adjustments to the beats the bars uh, the original tempo was 120 that's fine ours is 120 and we can go finish and it'll import that loop in and now as soon as i tap this or like switch it on it'll start to play Just switch this one off. Thanks, Stephen. <laughs> okay, so we've recorded something in on this one. We've got some cowbell loop going on on that one, which is absolutely fine, you know. Anyway, let's 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 record something else in so let's go on here now and let's add okay well we've got our audio going on i've got my artoria key step here as well i'm going to go plus and i'm gonna go oh i'm gonna go add midi and this will give us all our midi destinations and sources and things let's go with our Arturia key step and that's just appearing if i play it you'll see it's receiving midi information which is absolutely awesome <laughs> like this now what i'm also going to do is i'm going to tap this plus button here and go add audio unit and i'm going to choose an audio unit to add so maybe i will go and find uh let's see synth master 2 of course and you'll see that synth master 2 is there but wait oh no we can't hear it we can choose the sound for it though if we want to and we can 
go into the app and this is what's great we can open this one and we can open as many AUs as we like just like in AUM we can also do this and expand the screen to full screen okay we can also close it we can also add a little on-screen keyboard I need to reload it again because it has been a pain okay so cool oh dear it's crashed right here we go so I'm just going to make that smaller. Oh, stop it. It's because I'm using this uh, thingy. Right, so. I wanted to play with my, wanted to play with my uh, key step controller. So all I need to do is on the MIDI is add a destination. And it will now have added Synthmaster 2 to the list of MIDI. So we're going to just tap on that. I'm going to go into Synthmaster 2. I'm going to go full screen. Might have to reload. And choose a patch that's not so good. I'll just go with keys, maybe. So we can go down and just choose some. There you go, that'll do. I can close Synthmaster now. And now we've got... All right, so this is... Uh, we've got Now we've got our MIDI hooked up to Synthmaster here from our Artoria. We have our audio coming in from the... Uh, Microfreak VR3 and 4, which is this one here. And let's see, we want to record some synth master now, maybe. So, so we just need to choose choose a place to put it. Right. Okay, so let's go with maybe this one here. So I'll get my metronome going again. We know we're on four bars, but I could set this individual one to eight bars. Let me close that. So this one, swipe up, I could go right, I'll have this set to eight, eight bars instead of two. And it tells me at the top what it is, eight bars. And I'll hit play. drums off as well eh? now is where our synth master is recorded in cool <laughs> let's add some effects to synth master let's add a let's add a main mix bus now okay so we can add a mix bus in as well actually before we do that Let's make some adjustments to our main canvas. Okay, so we've got some stuff recorded. It's fine. We can get out a mix of you. So this is our canvas, but we're going to hit edit here. And this is where we can set up Loopy Pro exactly how we want visually. Okay, now don't also don't forget that Loopy is a, is a, is a door as well. It will run as a normal timeline door. This is what we're going to do. We're going to hit this little pencil icon. And this is going to bring us into this. Maybe I don't want these here. Or maybe I want to add something after them. To add stuff after that, you tap this little button here. And it will just keep adding extra slots that you can put stuff in. If you want to put stuff this way, you add stuff here. If you want to add stuff down the bottom, you do this. You add more room. If you want to add stuff up the top, you do this. And this thing is vast. Uh, it's vast. You can do as much as you like. However, anytime I'm done, I go out and it'll just come back to what it is. So what we're going to do is uh, maybe we shall um, get rid of this one. Get rid of this one because we're not using them. We'll leave those three at the bottom. It doesn't really matter. 
But what I'm going to do is along the bottom here, these are your widgets. Now your widgets are going to come in extremely handy because you can put a widget in and assign it to pretty much anything you like. You also have loads of undo as well. So you can just keep undoing stuff like that. So maybe we can see that a bit better now, right? Okay, so I added those two there. So we're going to add a widget. We're going to add this one here. Now, this is a one shot, this first one. This is a loop. So that if I hit this one, I'll add another loop. This is a one shot box. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay. This is a this is a button, right? So we're going to add the button here. And we'll add another button underneath. Okay, so I'm going to hold this. And then we can make it bigger or smaller or change its shape like this. Or we can just pick it up and move it down somewhere else. Or we could go, well, OK, I want to maybe add some stuff at the top here. Maybe I want to just delete this. Did you see that? <laughs> Oh, Michael's watching this. Right, anyway, this is actually still the beta, but you know. Anyway, so let's go back to what we were doing. Let's add this. I'm going to add a button. <laughs> and it's up there at the moment. So I'm going to add it down here next to this one. I'm going to add another button. And I'm going to stick it here. Then I'm going to delete these two, what we were doing. And then I'm also going to add in a one shot here. Oops, I'm just going to grab hold of it. I'm going to just put it there for now. Actually, I'll put the one shot here. And I'm going to make the one shot a little bit bigger. And maybe put it there. And I'll add another one shot in as well, just, just for fun, and leave that there. Then I'm also going to add in um, this one, which is like a volume. But I'm also going to put in um an xy pad as well and i'm going to put that there so i'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do okay let's exit this now oh no we need to make our our, our, our adjustments as well so let's delete this one and delete that line because we don't need them and let's delete this one so we can see more or less what we're going on and we don't need that one and we definitely don't need this one and we don't need that one so we're nice we can see what's going on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this button turn off this clip. So I'm going to hit tap it and it's going to go, what do you want this button to do? Right. So it's huge. You can get it to do anything you like. But look, look, pressing it, releasing it, holding it and releasing it, toggling it. This is what you want it to do. We're going to what, going to what press I want press to do. And I'm going to go clip actions. OK, these are clip actions. I'm going to have it play stop. And it's going to go, oh, target. So you can see the action. It says play stop. We can have the action do play stop or toggle. But we're having it toggle on and off. Target specific clips. You can target color regions, anything like that. Specific clip. I'm going to have it switch this one off. Save. OK, it's done. This is now bound to this to stop it from playing. Maybe with this one. Here, I'm going to assign this volume to control the volume. So uh, let's see, value change. Cool. I'm going to have adjust parameter, clip action, adjust parameter. I'm going to have the parameter to be the volume, but I could have it to be the balance, the pitch, or the speed. Okay, so I'll go back in again. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, just volume, yes. Specific clip, I'm going to go this one. It's bound to that now. I can also change the color of these as well. It's, you know, neither in or there. So now what I've got is this one is going to stop this. This is going to control the volume of that. This, well, let's, what could we do? What could we do with this one? This one may be to stop all three. So we'll, oops, no, I need to do that. I'm going to go tap in the middle. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. What am I doing here? Okay, so is this a? Oh no, that's a. Sorry, that's a clip. That, that's a clip, not a not a button. 
if I had another button in there, I could get this one now to set. So again, we want to tap on the button. We what, what do we want press to do? Clip actions, play and stop. Okay, and let's target this time specific clips again. Let's just target all, all three. Okay, save back. So if we go out of this now and just see what happens. Okay, so we'll go back to our normal playing things. Get a bit of our mixer. <laughs> So that's going to stop. That's just going to stop and start this one. Okay, so that stops and starts all three. So let's just start this one because we assign this as a volume. We can turn our metronome off now. So. Okay, let's just stop it for now. So, what else can we do? Well, this is a clip. These are clips. Uh, you can, and you've just seen that we can enlarge the size of those. We can make them bigger, smaller, etc. We can have it so fit the actual. Uh, the whole thing or we can make it small or we can make it look like a uh, like a, a slider but it's still a clip because we've used the clip thing so now what we can do is we can import one shot or record one shot into into these as well okay so let's just so let's just do that and we're gonna maybe do this go media Go document picker, and this time we go to say um, go out of there. Go to where is I'm looking for reflective from there. Reflective by electronic sounds. I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to choose impact three. I'm going to go okay, fine. Import. Oh, I could play it first. There it is. I'm going to import it. And it's going to flash and it's going to ask me where I want to put it. Well, I'll put it on this one here. And I'm just going to go, okay, finish. And now we've got that on there. Okay. And there's another cool thing we want to do. This is an XY pad. And what we're going to do now is go to our mixer. And this is about as complicated as I'm going to get today because otherwise we can go on and on and on and it will get like, it will get way too confusing. So, I'm going to say, what do we want? Now we've got the color of this. I want to set the color of this clip to be controlled by this channel. Okay. Well, actually, no, why don't you just play it a sec? I'm going to apply black hole to this. And this is going to add our effects in. And um, we can just go right black hole. And if we play it now, this synth master. You'll hear it's got thanks Daniel. Thank you very much indeed. You'll see it's got black hole on. Let's go back into our edit screen now. And don't worry about this extra thing right away. It's still just a one shot. Let's tap on this. And we'll go, you'll see straight away it's XY pad and because black hole's the only effect we've got in there, if all our effects were in there or more effects, there'd be a big list of them we can choose which one. Black hole. Oh look, X and Y. What do we want it to control? It's set to record the, uh, to control the mix and the gravity already. But I'm going to have it say control the size and the, the size and the mix instead. Okay, so hold always on hold but we can lock it in place anyway all right so customize we don't need to customize it we're fine we're good to go so now if i play this sorry come out of edit go into our mixer and oh, we don't even need to go into the mixer we know this is now
But you see, it'll, it'll switch, it'll switch black hole off. When we let go. See, it says off. But if we have this locked, it will leave the effect on. I noticed that as well. Okay. So you now you've seen how we can add widgets, how we can assign stuff to those widgets. And this is like very simple stuff. Doug, could you please ju not just scratch the service? I've got no time, Volker, honestly. And to be, to, I'll, I'll show you the some of the stuff that you can do with it. Uh, no, it's it's not it's not a metronome. It's it's a. Uh, my thing anyway right <laughs> that shouldn't be playing anyway the the the, the, <laughs> the thing is that you can go you can go bonkers or you can keep it quite calm or just use it and like i said you can still always just use this as a door you can just add this stuff in here uh, and, and build it up like a door or record record in as well anyway I'm not finishing just yet, but you get the idea. You go to new project, you can discard the changes of that, it's useless. Um, and we can set up a new project. And this is the default project you'll be set with. Just remember the few basic things that we, yes, you, you can import samples, you can drag and drop. You, I could import one of yours right now. Very simple, go to the file thing. We can, we can do split, the, sorry, we can do the split thing, drag and drop thing. But this is quite easy actually. Uh, we'll go uh, to that exporting. We'll go media import uh, document picker, and we go to say uh, we'll stick with audio share files. We'll go to a pack from Daniel, which was some music stuff. We just tap on this. I'm not even sure what it is. I'll just go import, and uh, it'll ask me where I want to put it. Right, so I'll just tap on it and go. Okay, fine, done, finished, and it's there. And <laughs> Now there is another way you can mix this, right? It's even detect it's even detected the tempo for us at 82 BPM. Okay, so or we can do this, and what this does now is allows us to right, if we go off and you'll see it full screen, it allows us to control the volume or the pan of any of these. So the pan left and right and the, and the volume. Or we can select all of them and do them all at the same time. Like that, or like this, or like that. I mean, you know, or you, or you can just use your mixer, which is probably easier. Anyway, but that's, that's one of the, the cool things you can do. You can switch that off. Another nice thing you can do as well is add buses. So, for instance, if we wanted to add a, 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 a send, a bus send, we tap this little button and go new bus, and there's bus A. And we could add, we can add another one, we can add a new bus, we can add bus B. But I've added two buses to this one. And you can add a third bus to this as well, or you can add like, oh, bus A to the second one. And now with bus A and B, which are here, you can then add further effects say for instance i i don't know something really quick uh, there you go the, the the basic reverb that comes free with uh, loopy pro um 
you can then control your mount here so you have a a control fader for the for the bus amount which is going to there and it's it's quite nice how michael's done this actually because you can get real close up and stuff and you can do that so we'll cover mixed buses and stuff in, in another one i'm just going to quickly show you some of the crazy stuff that you can do it comes with several demo projects here's like um it's not a new project we'll discard that sorry um projects here we go and there is some and oh there's the one i've just done but sample projects here now here's here's a here, here's a good one this is one that michael's done i think and what it basically is is it you've it's set up for you already so that you could put a load of loops in here and have each one fa oh yeah i forgot to show you also in the widgets there is this text add text button here and i mean you can add a text to anything you like uh, and resize and stuff like that so it's that it's really quite simple to do that as well it, and it's fast so you add text and it'll add text you just basically go right okay we do want me text tell the text what it is and then you can move the text wherever you want and then it's 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 kind of done you see there's a little thing pinned text but the thing is with this you could set up a load of uh loops and clips and then you can launch each scene independently it's already been set up for you to do that and you can see how they've done it if you go into the actual settings here it'll go all oh, right well press is gonna solo clip seven eight nine ten etc and then you can set it up there and the action is solo so each whichever one is pressed is soloing this this group of loops if you like so you you need to be kind of um, aware that this it's limitless <laughs> it's limitless what you can do but you don't need to you know it doesn't have to, have to be super confusing it can be really easy like we did at the very beginning it, it's quite simple but as you start to dig into it then you begin to realize that well you know this is incredibly powerful um you know what what can it do not a great deal to be honest with you you can pretty much set this up to do anything you want it to do which is which is absolutely brilliant which is what we want anyway guys listen oh your record feature is different this is record audio record sequence start recording this records it's session recording not this recording it's like recording a session into you know how it goes sort of thing so there's this this is set up for you already so you could start going very quickly if i just have a quick look here i've got my uh audio one two and that's going to go to everything i choose to record into it as we picked before so very quickly we could go like uh and also it will be tempo free and no bars it doesn't matter about the bars so as soon as i do this it's going to start recording so it's incredibly fast it's just really 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 fast <laughs> to do anything you want but yeah uh okay so again moving on look uh other projects not that's one cancel sorry uh sample projects there's one from uh child of the corn dog here okay so i just can't check that was muted um so look at this one look <clears throat> sorry close so So I'm not really sure what could go on, but there you go. So I'm not really sure what could go on, but there you go.
uh, like I said, you can uh, you can you can pretty much design whatever you want inside of Loopy Pro, but I would suggest it start at a more sensible level, like I was. Uh, I mean, how I would use it would be like, well, I'll use it for demoing synths and stuff like that, and 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 all that kind of stuff. But uh, more sample projects here. We have some stuff like, uh, oh, just. <laughs> like simple simpler loop machine um discard there's some tutorials and stuff there's all sorts of stuff people have designed for it look and this is the kind of stuff you can do which is brilliant brilliant again i've got reverb on my voice let's just take it off one that's because uh, the basic reverb is on but yeah, it's awesome stuff. I know it's brilliant. Uh, let's go. Let's go. New project, and we're back to an original project with uh, my voice being controlled by Audio Fuses Channel One. There you go. And of course, I can apply effects to that. And like I said, you know, if you watch the beginning of the video, you can see how I added instruments in or or whatever. But yeah, oh yeah, the slicer. I I really I, I haven't got time. The slicer is pretty cool. I'll show you the slicer in another one, but. Uh, what it basically do is you just import a loop and apply it to a slicer and then it slices it up for you and you can play the play the play the pads if we kind of went like this and gone or uh, i can show you a, a slicer let's go this here like this and this is the slicer here and what happens is you apply that to a clip if a clip's got like a drum loop in it or something it'll kind of like um let me just show you if it was if there was a clip in there it'll say um divide on transients or divide evenly or you can customize it or you can have it quantized or hold it to play the clip or it's really good and then what happens is when you when you tap it sorry when you play each individual pad it, it triggers the slices that you've set up guys listen i really have got to go <clears throat> thank you so much for watching joining me this evening where we talk a a, a, a a really basic look to be honest with you at loopy loopy pro uh it has incredible power and it is really really you can set this up as you wish um and hopefully hopefully you, you guys uh kind of understood some of this uh what was going on let's just open a project which is the one we did uh, hopefully you understood what was happening oh this is the first one i did so yeah Awesome stuff. I don't think it should. It shouldn't have that other waveform there, but it's just a little bug. But it's not affecting anything. So, anyway, um, I hope it was plain enough uh, if you followed it through, sort of thing. Um, and once you start with it, it 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 makes it it makes it kind of more more straightforward. Anyway. I shall let you say ta to each other for a couple of minutes and I shall have a just have a mess around with this. I'll see you later. Ta-da!